Okay, so since we last left off, what we have here is a new input field that we have put on the screen, and it's right down here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna instrument a new type of action called input. So that's our new action, input, and it takes in two parameters. Where you wanna go, the target input box, and the text that you want typed in there. And of course, this, we're taking off of the ID of the input box. So that's the selector. So I've added a function amongst my if giant if statement that's building. Obviously, we would move this out into a more abstract class, uh, but for now, it's fine. So basically, we're gonna say, hey, if the action is input, Thank you, Larry. And text is available. Go ahead and call input text. So I have not created this function yet. So let's go up here and we'll just put it right above these other functions. And the first iteration is pretty small. So there it is. So this is basically going to take the target, which is a jQuery object, because we wrap it in a jQuery object, and the text. So we just call the val function on the text. So let's go ahead and run this. I sped up the cursor a little bit so it would get through it faster. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, you know, it fills it in pretty nicely, but what if I want like a typing effect? Well, we can actually modify this function uh, to do a couple things. So let's gonna, we're gonna modify that and we're gonna create a new recursive function. And then we'll go through that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this and paste in my new function. So the new input text function here is now being called and what we do is we save these variables off to a global scope which is right up here t text and t target t text and t target and then we call type letter now type letter is a special function because it will actually recursively call itself until there's no more text uh, to pull out of the string so you can see we get the original value in the field and then we go ahead and take the first character of the t text out of there and append it to the current value and set the value. And then we come down to t text and we basically substring it from the first character out, out deleting the first character. So at the end, this gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And then when the length is no longer greater than zero, we don't call ourselves. Otherwise, if it is greater than zero, that means there's still text to process. Uh, we will go ahead and call ourselves, but we're going to use a random function. So the math random function actually takes a maximum value and a minimum value and then we add it. So this will basically give us a range from 300 to 1,000, okay? That means it's one-third of a second all the way up to a second. And let's see how that works. We'll go ahead and run that one. Okay, that's obviously way too slow. It's never gonna work. That'll take forever. So why don't we bump this down to about 800 and 100. Yeah, you agree, Larry? Huh? Thank you. Think it's gonna work? Wow, even that's too slow. Hmm. 
Well, let's uh, let's bump it down to 500, and we'll go down to 50. So that's that that is that could still be a lot. I mean, that's still a half a second. So maybe that's got to go down a lot. What do you think, Larry? Notice you're over there talking a lot today. Okay, that's getting a little better. I think the 500 is just way too much. So let's go down to 300. Well, I would even go less. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go 200 and then we're going to lower this a lot down to down to like 20. So that way we get some kind of, you know, fast characters and slow characters. Try to emulate it as closely as possible, right, Larry? Right? Are you going to answer me? All right, that's pretty cool. All right, I think that's acceptable, but you can play with these numbers. Um, but that's the tutorial for today, and basically we just were able to uh, input text into a text field in our little automated engine here. So if you like this video, you like looking at Larry, uh, go ahead, subscribe to my channel and my blog, and I really appreciate you watching. Thank you.